There was a time not too long ago when the term fake news had an actual definition that people seemed to agree on that made a lot of sense. And that has since been completely destroyed, leaving us to wonder what does that term now actually mean day to day to various groups of Americans. And we have a survey from Knight Gallup that gets into that and finds the dueling interpretations of what that term means, which we're gonna turn to in just a second. But first of all, how important is this area of concern for Americans? Well, 73% of Americans say the spread of inaccurate information on the internet is a major problem with news coverage today, more than any other potential type of news bias, of which there are many. I'm not 100% sure that that should actually be the largest one, I think that uh, corporate consolidation and control of the media might be a bigger one, but it's obviously a big one and people care about it. Um, additionally, just 50% of the American uh, Americans surveyed uh, feel confident people can cut through bias to sort out the facts in the news, down from 66% a generation ago. And that's sort of what they feel generally, but apparently less than one out of three feel that they are actually equipped on a day to day basis to sort out uh, inaccurate from accurate news, which is a huge concern. And so now let's talk about fake news, which if you weren't around, originally had a very simple, easy to understand explanation. It was news that was designed to look like real news, but was purposefully deceptive and false, intending to sort of hide in the cloak of news to convince people of things that are not true. And it became very large a couple of years ago online because of the proliferation of websites that had the idea of news, but not actually the content. Well, 42% of Republicans consider accurate news stories that cast a politician or political group in a negative light to always be defined as fake news. And for comparison, 17% of Democrats agree. Now understand, that doesn't mean that they think news that they don't believe is true, but turns out to be true can is still always fake news. It's news that they in their response say is true. But if it makes a politician look bad, it should always be considered fake news. That's 42% of Republicans. It's, that's 42% of Republicans saying, I don't give a damn about the truth. Never cared about it, don't care about it now. In fact, not only am I, it's not that I'm indifferent to it, I will actively call it fake even though I know it's real. Mm -hmm. Man, that is the power of propaganda and brainwashing. So those guys, oh, I will now call it fake news even though I know it is true. And by the way, as we often talk about, studies have shown that liberals and conservatives both have a confirmation bias and have several other biases. So you see 17% of Democrats there as well, and that is shameful. Mm -hmm. We should actually, progressives should actually care about the truth. And, and we shouldn't try to fit the facts around our opinions, we should try to fit our opinions around the facts. Now, having said that, as usual, uh, don't give me that both sides do it stuff when it's 17 to 42. That's exactly. a giant, giant difference. Republicans do it a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Now, thankfully, that isn't everybody. I mean, even for Republicans, it's 42 percent. So, what about the actual definition? People knowingly portraying false information uh, as true information. Well, between 40 and 50 percent of both Democrats and Republicans think that should be labeled as fake news. So, are they not merciful? Half the country, largely, uh, still has their head on right, but almost half of the other side just doesn't care as you, as you describe, it just does not matter to them uh, anymore. And what are you gonna say? Yeah, just uh, one quick note about the, the numbers. You know, I said 42% of Republicans don't care if it's true, they're gonna call it fake anyway, 17% Democrats. But you know, I realized halfway through as you were explaining it, John, the Republicans will then turn around and go, 42 is a higher number than 17, fake news. <laughs> well, but that's uh, it's clearly, oh, I know it's true, fake news. It, well, that is true, but it makes me feel bad. Right, fake, fake news. You know what? Fake math, <laughs> fake numbers, <laughs> fake numbers. You know what? Two thirty-nine. That's a fake number. Look it up. Anyway, um, and then you have the sort of larger area because obviously a lot of this is due to Donald Trump, not just him. Other Republicans have sort of tried to to do the same thing about everything is fake news that makes him look bad. Um, but there's things that sort of are tied in with that. So Trump often will talk about fake sources, phony sources. The idea being that if he doesn't know exactly who it is that leaked something, it is by its very definition false, which is of course not true. And we know that 
all of the people surrounding him were competing with each other to leak as much information as possible. But a lot of people who don't know that will then hear the president over the course of a year and then think, well, in the future, if I don't know the source for something, it's probably fake, which is of course not the actual, that's not the case. Real journalists who use multiple sources can't necessarily put those people on the record, but if the information is verified with other people, then it is still reliable information in most cases. But people are gonna lose faith in that as well. So uh, two things here, one, uh, there's a great article about where a lot of the uh, leaks from the White House were coming from. And tr so Trump would go around and be super frustrated. He's like, I don't know where the source is, so it's fake news, right? Uh, turns out <laughs> it was Trump and he wasn't calling the papers. He was going around calling all of his buddies that he plays golf with, etc. And those guys leak like a sieve. So he'd be like, "Oh yeah, then I called him, you know, uh, a poop hole, <laughs> right?" <laughs> and then they'd go tell the press, and then he'd be like, "Where are the sources from? Where are the sources from? It's fake. It's from you, you knucklehead." The sources are coming from inside the moron. <laughs> 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 okay, and then finally, look guys, I just feel like I need to clarify this one more time. Fake news is, it's made up, that's where the, it originated from. It's a website you go to and the website has completely incorrect information on purpose to try to deceive you. It's not trying to be news. Then there's bias, which you can argue exists in a lot of different places, including yes, definitely in the mainstream media and I would argue that. You remember the Washington Post did the 16 headlines against Bernie Sanders in 16 hours. Mm -hmm. And it was unbelievable that God, they hate Bernie Sanders. Now, in mm -hmm. that case, they don't know they hate Bernie Sanders. There was no conspiracy. They didn't get together in a room and be like, all right, let's bury the guy, right? Let's bury him. Now, they some of you might think- didn't. Yeah, some of might you think some of you might think that they did, but that is not really how it works. I've been there. It's just they truly believed that he had no chance of winning. Mm -hmm. They truly believed that he was a dangerous communist. Right? Like these insane thoughts. And so it but it colored their view of Sanders so much that they became like Trump supporters. The press did. And you would show them polls of Sanders doing 12 points better than Hillary Clinton against Republicans, whether it was Cruz or Trump or a generic Republican, and they go, no, I don't believe those numbers. I don't believe those numbers, Bernie can't win. Fake news. And even after the election, when I was talking about 2020, and I talked, it was off the record, so I'm not gonna say who or what publication, but a major publication, um, and, and, and the well-known reporter uh, like almost screamed, Bernie will never be president. <laughs> and that was only a little while after they had said that they don't do opinion. Mm -hmm. So there, of course, bias exists in the news, but the Washington Post, the New York Times, etc., are not going out there writing fake stories with that are not yeah. attached to the truth. And then finally, there's perspective uh, journalism as well, and that could, but that's at least honest about their perspective. I yeah. think that's what we do here. Once Fox News dropped their BS fair and balanced slogan. You know, to some degree, Hannity's honest about what he does. He might lie in his the content, mm -hmm. but he says I'm a conservative and this is my perspective, mm -hmm. right? So th those are the different kinds of news. Yeah. So not everything you disagree with is fake news. Yeah. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, home of the revolution. If you'd like to get a lot more than that, get the full show by becoming a member. TYTnetwork.com/slash/join.